Hi everyone, so today we're trimming a dairy cow. And again, these are not my cows. As a trimmer, I go farm to farm, trimming whatever cows the farmer decides to give me. Today I'm gonna show you a white line lesion that had a lot of built up pressure. Not all these cows are this lame, but I just show the really lame ones because those are the ones you guys all seem to enjoy. I could tell there's a problem on the medial claw there based on that small cavity of dirt and she also has a little bit of a swollen heel right there. Now I'm just slowly picking at it trying to find the problem. A lot of people ask why I don't clean the foot first and cows walk around in a barn all day so it'd be pointless to clean it just for her to step outside of the chute to get it dirty right away. The only time that it needs to be cleaned is when there's an open lesion, and I'll show you how I do that. And right here I finally find the problem. Look at all that built up pressure. That has to instantly feel good. Now the goal is to remove any and all loose horn. Since you saw all that pus come out, I know there's an open cavity somewhere in her claw. Now I just want to pick away slow and smooth, not to cause the cow any discomfort. You can see here pus is still coming out, that means I need to dig further. The general rule is if I can fit the lip of my knife under any of the horn, that's horn that needs to be removed. It's important to remove all the loose horn so that that lesion can dry out and new healthy horn can grow in. On average, it'll grow back one quarter of an inch every month. So right now, I'm thinking that I'm almost done and have all the loose horn removed, but I don't see any of the hoof that's wet from the pus, so it makes me think there's an open cavity even further down. This video was too long to put in one, so you'll have to check out part two to see what happens. Thank you for watching, and again, thank you for all the follows and likes. Hi everyone, if you're here, you found part two, and if you haven't seen part one, check out my videos and watch part one before this. So I ended up finding another open cavity that extended almost all the way down to her toe. As you can see here, this is where I keep applying antibacterial solution to clean it out as I go. This video is really not that graphic, but I still need to blur it because TikTok deleted a bunch of my videos already, and I'm on high risk alert to be banned. You will, however, see the open lesion at the end of the video when I have it cleaned out a little bit more. This cow is doing really well and staying calm through this whole process. Now it's time to apply a flexible rubber block. What this block does is it takes all the weight off the sore claw and puts it on the healthy claw. This allows the cow to walk around without further injuring that lame claw. You can see from this side angle how much lift she gets. Now it's time to apply more antibacterial solution to keep it clean, some iodine on gauze, and then some cotton for an extra cushion. Now this will all be wrapped up, and this wrap will stay on one to two days until the farmer takes it off. This cow will heal up just fine. I would say in just a couple weeks time, she'll be walking around without that block already. I'm happy she stayed calm and I think she's happy that she's feeling better now. 
Now it's time to let her out and see how she walks. She's going to be a little sore on it for a couple days, but she's walking better already. Once again, thank you for watching, and I really appreciate all the likes and the follows. More videos coming.